Continue this series. This time I added my dying self. Yeah, loading times in this game are kind of criminal. Holy shit, I had no idea I can zoom out. Yes. And these are new residents of my spire. I hire a bunch of budget guys. And there is also this guy. Okay, let's start talking with your companions. As you can see, people with shining this have important matter to speak about. Salutations, Faithfinder. Or should I now call you Lady of Vendrian's Well? The Spire Queen? Princess of the suggestive vertical slab? That is how I met you, so that's how it's gonna stick in my mind. So if I might ask, what is your plan now? The edict no longer looms overhead, and Kairos's conquest of the tears seems to be slipping. What with the armies in civil war? <laughs> Aren't you a feisty one? Where was this hate for Kairos's lackeys a few years ago? You seem so very eager to turn on your old allies. <laughs> but I'm not one to criticize. I think it's wise to lean into the winds of change. My first suggestion would be to build a boat, something durable, and take our chances on the high seas far from Kairos. Hmm. I have a second and more practical suggestion. Look to the horizon and slightly up. By that I mean the other spires. We should see what's atop the others, otherwise someone else might look first. Not nearly enough, apparently. To me, they've always been axioms of navigation. You can triangulate a lot of things with a sextant and a clear view to a spire or two. You say it's sextant? <laughs> We've long oh, known the spires radiate strong magical fields. And all save the mountain spire connect to the old walls. So it's the sort of thing common folk know from afar, but avoid day to day. I would counsel you to do just that. I'm sure the events of Vendrian's well are best explained from your mouth to Tunan's ears. I should probably need to say my I quotes. I guess the Archon or... of Justice would want to know your take on the Archons and their divide. Maybe not. 
Well, short of Tunon giving you orders on pain of death, you have the luxury of acting on your own volition. Though the disfavored are likely to come for you. Whatever you decide, I'm at your disposal. And I am thankful to not be a bloody pile of offal in Vendrian's well. Life under your banner will, I'm sure, prove most interesting. What is it you need? I have a great deal of ambivalence regarding the Scarlet Chorus. Narad is worse than Kairos, yet many in the Chorus were my countrymen. Most of them fighting because they will suffer worse indignities if they do not. So I must ask, what is your goal behind working with the voices of Narat? Yes, yeah, so you can basically. Oh, I can avoid losing by answering. Uh... The disfavored have made a mockery of every army in the tears. Even the unbroken could not best them. Against such a foe, the wise move is to place others in harm's way. And the Scarlet Chorus is in no shortage of fodder. Ask away. Let me speak of much. You know, I normally charge for this, but for you... Now, you know... Conquest decision, okay. This is perfect. New spell core. This is clearly safe. Not every dialogue will be will have voice acting, but it doesn't matter. Look at her spells. I fucking love her. Like, like honestly. It'd be best waifu. Uh, you wanna have this. But for now you will have runic lore master. You basically uh, speedrun Tyrannus Gate and quickly go there. You gave her as heavy armor as possible. Because for some stupid reason, game uh, thinks that he should use her super uh, shitty stuff, which is absolutely not true. You should give her something like spear and shield as soon as possible and instantly put her in heavy armor. This is uh, heavy bronze armor with ma uh, max health bonus. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Eat. This is one hundred. On weapon crit, aliet away party. Okay, that's good, but not for her. This bronze spear is 100.
Not hit any food bit though. I don't have any accessories. This kind of suck. But it's okay. Fifteen percent carry if health below fifteen percent. That's very good. Actually, we can hide helmets so it will look cuter. Actually, I should fucking do that on most characters. Hmm. I have cool hood, so let's keep. Okay, there's another safe girls. Mm, you don't wanna organize inventory <coughs> if you happen to reload the game or something. And we can continue talking. Right now it will be extreme to basically uh, talk to land. At least in theory, I'm supposed to be observing history and not getting myself wrapped into it. All the same, this is the thrill of a lifetime. Rarely does one stand so close to monumental moments in the making. For the moment, the Scarlet Chorus could be considered an ally. Let us hope the Archon of Secrets continues to find you entertaining enough to remain friends. <laughs> the disfavored, on the other hand, will be a certain threat. The Civil War has removed Ash's pretense to play well with others. So, I must ask, are you planning on taking sides in the Civil War? Or do you have other plans? While Graven Ash knows more about war, I contend the Voices of Narad knows more about victory. The Scarlet Chorus has grown with each passing year. Your fatalism does you credit, Scholar. Doesn't it feel good to be on the winning side for a change? <laughs> Whatever you do next, consider that many eyes will be upon you, for you have both delivered and taken away the Overlord's edicts, and few will know how to make sense of the latter. You are an exception the Archons cannot afford to ignore. They will likely aim to control or destroy you. Most of Kairos' edicts are option. to end in a manner of the Overlord's choosing, or the edicts have simply continued in perpetuity. That's not to say there haven't been stories of broken edicts. They're just uncommon. The oldest is, I think, Goldbraith and the Edict of Sorrows, and that tale dates back to around the year 110. Aside from you, the most recent was the Edict of Twisting Grasses, back in 380. In all these stories, Kairos' edict very clearly gives its victim a single way to escape. Of course, how can I help? The spires predate us. Of course, how can I help? The spires predate us all. As far as I know, we're the only ones who've been up here since... Ever? Of course, how can I help? Are you asking for an objective assessment? Or is this your way of saying you want... You must have some leverage over him, as I would have thought he'd lead us into a disfavored trap long ago. Or... Maybe the Legion is just that polite? I must admit, I am completely fascinated by... I know little of swordplay, and couldn't work a curve and arrow to save my life. <laughs> I, I... I can't really comment on the lady. Lady? <laughs> You're just afraid to talk in front of me, clear as day. Your sweat is easier to read than your ink scribbles. Uh, no, not at all. I, I just don't know how to comment on a warrior's worth, that's all. Spare me your blather. Huh. Think that, do you? Didn't know you had such swollen hope for me. 
<laughs> just calling it as I see it, and I see he's holding back. Nothing serious, just a bit insulting. A most fascinating specimen. I think she has great potential. Uh, dangerous amount of potential, to be blunt. The Scarlet Furies are the fighting elite of the Scarlet Chorus, and that means floating to the top of a sea of blood and chum. We should consider ourselves lucky to have her on our side, with her weapons usually pointed away from us. <laughs> Good typecasters stay underwater. Kairos did the tears a favor by erasing those moon howlers from history. A shame one of them escaped justice. The fuck? I like that I make you this agitated. Considering all the things that don't seem to bother you in the slightest. I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of getting off on how much power you're giving me here. Duh. And then there's your coquettish act whenever someone calls you on your teeth. I'll be the one ready to tangle when, not if, you decide to pounce. Okay. That's an important talk they had to present. And they actually had voice acting for it, so it's pretty impressive. And now we can skip through an important bubbling with hope we'll learn more cores and more seeds. I am nothing if not a semi Uh, honestly, it's not that terrible question. Doctor Field. This is Field Three. Okay, let me check how much loyalty I have with them. So we could at least... Okay, I have Barelian Fear with Lantry, that's terrible because his ability is pretty good. Mm. I am nothing if not a semi-reliable father. Arcane Mafers, uh, yes. And I'd be happy to oblige. Ever since the fall of the Bellum Citadel. Holy shit, it will be so much fucking dialogue about nothing. So, in my studies, some edicts resolve some problem of the overlords and then vanish into history. But the edicts that linger around, almost all of them <laughs> begin to widen. Their effects become more intense. Mm -hmm. Here's the intriguing part. The older the edict and the more that's written about it, the more the reports of that edict get more dire over time. Honestly, I need this fear. Even if it does cheap answer. Now, what I find curious, and I'd be happy to oblige. And 
I'd be happy to oblige. Every <laughs> what do you want to know? I think you know all I can teach you. Hmm. I think he can give you some sigil of some sort. But because I already when recruiting him insisted on teaching me that shit. He no longer have that options. What is it you need? Ask away. Well, I'm an accomplished liar. Oh, a lot, a lot of XP, a lot of XP. My husband, most of my kids. I like to think of it more as well. Ref it's a trick of the trade, I suppose. Also, you can like. Oh, never mind. Sometimes you can go through the same dialogue and select different options. We all know how to swim, and we all know how to fight. Aside from the ones you slew, well, the Vendrian Guard were the most staunch opponents of Kairos. With their passing, the Overlord's rule is absolute. Well, aside from the local Archons being in a state of civil war. Was there a particular group you wished to d The Unbroken is the name of the military of the now fallen realm of Stalwart. Every citizen of Stalwart was trained to fight, and all were expected to answer the rallying cry of the Regents, the ruling small council of the realm. A decade ago, Stalwart was the ass end of jokes Tearsmen would tell each other. The people of Stalwart are obnoxiously proud of a long history of being invaded, but not <laughs> losing. The disfavored put an end to their vaunted record of victory. The Unbroken still persist, albeit marginally so. The disfavored withdrew after the Edict of Storms began shredding the landscape. Their holdfast of Sentinel Stand Keep was never taken, and the citizen army, though scattered, could still be rallied. Kairos's war was disastrous to the human realm of Azure, but a stroke of good luck for the numerous beastmen that toiled in Azure's endless wheat fields. With the masters all dead, the serfs have been set free. The Stonestalkers are a tribe born from these newly freed beasts. Archons. Too many generations have been enslaved. I'd wager anything, they'll die before they ever bow. Nice. Beastmen understand strength and leadership, but it's always in the concrete sense. I can't pretend to know how they think, but I could never imagine them accepting an absent prima. A distant ruler they can't see or smell seems a bit too abstract. Honestly, it feels kind of terrible to have EB when you like, fight against her chaos and basically 
ask her about everything she might know about that can resist Kairos. The Bronze Brotherhood is one of the most feared and famous of the Free City mercenary companies. They serve the highest bidder, and during the war, that was Kairos. Most of the Brotherhood perished in the war, but a handful, the crew hired to work at Lethian's Crossing. They got to babysit the Forgebound and survived the last few years with minor losses. The band is too small to be a serious threat to the disfavored or the chorus, but they are scourge worshipping berserks that will adopt any enemy for the right price. Maybe even Kairos. Nice. Several sages came to our aid during the second battle of Endrian's Well. I at first thought they meant to kill me, but instead they put their lives on the line for us. They spoke of others in their guild braving the Edict of Fire to salvage lore from the Burning Library. Though I may find them untrustworthy, it must be said that the sages have a certain fearlessness toward the Overlord. Perhaps it could be kindled further. Historically speaking, speaking, an alliance with the school of Ming and Quill is just, just asking to have your efforts stolen and your goals undermined. Mark, Mark my, my words, some things never change. change. This is very good because Solante will gain fear. Well, perhaps we can shove them in front of the enemy. And the ones that volunteered at Vendry as well weren't all bad. Mm hmm. About Archons. I know a great deal of the mages of the Tears, or at least their history. Most are dead now. I know a little less about the guild sworn to Kairos as Archons, but I try to make an effort to know my opposition. Yeah, so basically on most basic level, this game is full of fucking dialogue. Yes, Karin Archon of the Stone. I know a great deal of the mages of the tears, or at least their history. Athelwyn. My one concern with Beric is that he's still loyal to Graven Ash and not to you. Beric seems steadfast, faithful, and dependable. Oh, don't it. Down to you versus Graven Ash. Therein lies the test. Oh, don't worry. I have plans for Beric. We should consider ourselves fortunate that one of the most deadly members of the Scarlet Furies considers you a suitable gang leader. That said, I think her involvement with you is entirely suspect. I would wager good money the voice of Naras is listening through her, or perhaps seeing what she sees. Probably the only word thief I have wanted to dismember. Him? I'd merely play with an ice eye.
the way. Not entirely sure. Which is to say, there was a time I studied my enemy in great detail. But I've recently come to learn that much of my information was a little more than lies in this direction. Yeah, let's talk about Sidney. I have conquest. Away. I don't know. I, I feel What is it you need? Okay, it was good to basically go through all this dialogue and. Uh, oh, one moment, my friend. Just let me finish this thought. I am nothing if not a semi reliable Ash. I oh, I didn't know if it was poisonous from far away. Ash and Zegis is the term us Arcanophiles have taken to calling it. Not surprisingly, Graven Ash is beloved. Wait. Ash has served with Kairos for a mere century, but he has been a reliable general and level-headed warlord. Certainly when compared to some of the more bloodthirsty Archons to serve under Kairos. I'm not saying the disfavored are merciful, I'm just saying I've read the stories of the Archon of Blood and know it could be worse. <sighs> Is that kind of blood I know Graven Ash can defend his soldiers from far away. Ash's Aegis is the term us Arcanophiles have taken to calling it. Not surprisingly, Graven Ash is beloved by his troops. I mean, if Tunon could mystically protect you from cudgels and sharp sticks from leagues away, you'd like him more. Yeah, this is extremely good ability that the Graven Ash has. Okay. Voice of Nerat is not voiced. Not the youngest Archon in history, but certainly one of the younger, and history is yet to write much about her. And if I happen to be the first to write about her, well, <laughs> that will look nice for my legacy. Okay, that will be honestly all. Wait. Oh, because I'm fucking switching to companions, I'm losing this bonus. But I have to get rid of Barik to take his items, like, you know, I have to replace uh, verse with Barik. Take items and replace back. <coughs> you got it. I got it. So what we can do now is I can rest here? No. Okay, that's terrible. Let's light the candle. Mm, boring shit. Okay, then.
investigate the spire, find the way to the letter crossing. Okay, there is nothing more. Just like this travel option. We're going to hull because there was a lot of dead and I hope a lot of loot. Hmm. Sorry, I can't. Can't do that. Yeah, there is some crown. Look at this. This is my banner I customized at the start of the game. This is two hundred. Do that. This is completely new location now, because it's basically the same location, but with new loot. This plans for the spire I collected might be useful later. And for now it's just starting. Nice! Halwar, Helm helmet with bigger bonus. Uh, that's already has bigger bonus. And he already have plate armor, so more vigor bonus. This looks nearly the same as plate. Bonus max health is extremely handy. Very nice. So this is worse by a little. Recovery is slightly worrying me. These guarding strikes are fine, but they trigger on crit and she's not very good at crits. For my character it would be great, but I'm using this weird clunky spear. 
and don't have more shields to make sacrifices. Okay, that's all. I can store all the spared gear. And this EU window is everything. So, so that means my inventory is empty. Uh, I can do something like this. Here is consumables. And apparently I don't have potions. Three potions, two potions, one potion, zero potions. Okay, let's see more that for now. Superior two hundred. Can't do that. Let's see if there is more of my banners. Uh, entrance. Can't do that. Yard. Not bad. Rush. XP. Uh, normally, if well, you will. Playing old school way, you will disable EB from gaining XP. Uh, to lore, uh, to subterfuge, I'm sorry, to subterfuge. Can't do that. Because she don't need these abilities. Is this good? No. All this access will go for a sale. You wanna afford the fate binder for reset skills as fast as possible. Okay, that's done. It's worth noting that uh, that your team <laughs> will rest inspire and once you do that you will be unable to rest there again. So yeah, crafting party members. Mm. The sunset spire is closer. Uh, however, uh, I need to say, uh, yeah, no, no, I need it's a second save. I need second save. This is important. And I think for this run I will try Archon of Songs. One day, 50 hours. Okay. Bronze guards on shit. Mm, doesn't matter. I mean, it does matter, but. You want me to be subtle? Fine. Can't do that. 
This is scripted event of spike, you can destroy them. I wanna save here because I forgot a lot about this. I know once you like start dialogue, they will get provoked when I do something, but before that they will not. Or something like this, there was some weird dependencies. And there was some document. Yes! Yes! This reduces a CD of spells. And I can afford that. Okay, okay. Easy. Uh, cast carpet, please. Now, my character. Can do this and have faster CD update. Yeah, it's 10% faster, I know, but it's faster. You can turn it into aura. Actually, let's do that. This is OP as fuck. This is solid, but not OP. Oh, it's mine, and I don't have 19 something, never mind. I can afford to see. Oh, like, come on, 85. Why not? 85, and 85, I need minimums. Oh, I have, uh, it's refreshed and I have terrible again. Okay. Can I cast it on myself? Okay, let's just say I wanna cast for example, oh, it, I can cast it on anybody but not myself. Right. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we basically wanna add it to every spell. And if spell have it already, we wanna add this. 
power yes duration yes now it heals four percent cv yes you don't wanna increase damage of uh, <laughs> damaging spells because you wanna cast as many of them as possible Okay, this is good for carpet instead of this. Uh, Frostfire is good only for main character. One meter away. That's kind of bad. It's always some comfort bonus. Yeah, every single spell needs uh, upgrades. You can't go wrong by improving your power like this. Actually, since I'm underutilizing these spells, I can also improve their targeting. This accuracy bonus might have a chance to like, you know, higher chance for hitting target. It is not exactly what you want, but it will let you at least stun in combat. So it's not it. terrible. Because technically Filet spells also gave XP. It's not like you need to... Just everything. But you can. Of course. The carpet, please. This is extremely good. <sighs> okay, that's safe. Because now tricky part. We know new signal from B and we will have to utilize it to the extreme uh, edges. I'll take care of it. Uh, we need this spell. This makes my CDs reset faster. Can't do. Will do. 
Arpet. Fuck. Okay, come on. Fuck. This is ninety four. Angry. Oh, this is that terrible armor I wear only for this bonus. This bonus is not even that good. Okay, for now I'm not so oh, we need to, we need to learn her spells, but we can learn her my spells for example. And just be done with this. This is very good to have. <laughs> this is must have. Yeah, can't go wrong with that spell. Yeah, every damaging spell I gave her. That's easy no-brainer. I don't know what is this, but it's clearly worse. This is what you use, gear. Get used to that. This is power. Oh, actually, we can even improve it. <sighs> nice. I have no idea if that improvements are even improving anything, but is good. This is good? Oh, this is very good. Actually, this is so fucking good that I want it. Oh, I need to boost myself in order to obtain this spell. Fucking annoying. Okay, instead of what we tank it. Instead of this fucking shit, maybe. Withhold it on max level, it will be a mediocre bonus anyway. I'm clearly sure I want this spell, no matter what. It's way too good to pass out. This is basically self-healing. You only need two carpets, don't need to teach anybody carpet. Uh, but CD reduction skill, I will teach that uh, to everybody. Mm, for no reason, of course, it's not OP. No, no. one minute CD reduction, that last one minute, mm, I think. No, no, don't tell me anything. <laughs> this is barely useful. But it lasts long. I like it for that. Actually, show me how good is that blur. No, oh, this one, this one minute. It's not, it's not garbage. One minute is not complete trash. That's true. Honestly, maybe I should replace every spell with self buff or a touch buff. Something like this. Anyway, we'll be right back. Actually, maybe let's pause there and I will continue after. <laughs> 